All right, we are going to make a barrel. Now, the goal here with this barrel was I wanted a realistic, dirty, grungy, medieval-style wooden barrel. And I think we really pulled that off pretty well here. This looks pretty good. And we pretty much made this very heavy with modifiers here inside of Blender. We used a lot of displacement, a lot of bevel subdivision, the array modifier. We even used the lattice modifier at one point. We used some noise textures build this up very procedurally because you might not really notice but there are a lot of like imperfections and like added variation to this barrel like this is not like a symmetrical perfect barrel which really helps it look more real and grounded and it still seals everything fits together and that, honestly, was part of the magic of making this whole thing, was distorting it, but keeping it so everything fits together neatly. So, all in all, I'm very pleased with this. And I'm going to walk you through how to model this. Then we're going to texture this. And then we're going to create a few LODs. I'm not sure how many, but probably about five. And then export those into Unreal, get it set up with the material, get all the LODs set up, and just get it in game. So let's get on with it then. All right, let's uh, get started here with the barrel. So I'm going to get it in a cube. Gonna make that 0 0.05 on the X and 0 0.1 on the Y. And I'm gonna move that back a bit along the X and apply all. I'm gonna add in a new cube and scale that down. Ah, actually, I wanna apply all on that too. I'm gonna rename this kind of plank our first cube here barrel plank if I can type correctly all right so now I'm gonna put on a array modifier and we're gonna use object offset on that cube over there and 16 count for the array and so our rotation here on the z we're going to use 22.5 since 360 divided by divided by a point two nope I, my head is somewhere else 360 divided by 16 is 22.5 I'm thinking this should be 0.2, not 0.1. It's too narrow. Okay. Ah, yep. And we should apply. There we go. Okay, and that's almost perfect. But I kind of want a bit. That's too much of a gap. I want a bit of a gap. Yeah, that's probably fine. All right, so now I think I'm going to come in here, put in the loop cut, and I'm going to pull that out kind of far because we're going to bevel and smooth this out here in a bit anyway. I'm going to scale that middle one on the Y, try to get it kind of tight. All right, and now I think actually I'm going to go ahead real quick 
And I'm going to, oh yeah, edit mode. I thought I was there. I'm gonna delete the bottom half of our barrel and get a mirror modifier and mirror the Z. Maybe turn, maybe I want, I'll leave clipping off actually, I think. I don't want it doing anything weird. All right, so we've got the top and bottom mirrored now. Now I want to create kind of a realistic angle on this flank. So I need to pull that Z down on that side a bit. I am sort of just eyeballing it right now. And I think I want to lower that one back here just a bit more. All right, that looks pretty good. All right. And the reason I'm making this is because I want the tops and bottom to maybe be slightly different height and I want to angle them a bit and I also want to kind of create a loop here in the middle and I'm going to scale it out in the Y and that's going to be what shuts kind of our barrel then I want to grab these sides here and scale them a bit closer and I need these I need to pull them in all right and what I really want is kind of visible gaps between all the wooden planks but I also want there to be no light bleed I want to look like there's a solid seal. Mm. All right, so that's looking okay for now. It's looking okay. I think now that that's kind of done, gonna worry about probably UV seams. Probably want to get that done. And yeah, bottom one there. I'm gonna mark. Oh, wait, no. No. <laughs> what am I thinking? I don't want that seam there. Yep, since we're mirroring it, I only want the ones down this side, and these corners here. And that should be good. Now I want to add a bevel to the plank. So I just want to select all the faces along the edges. Not faces, but the all the edges on the edges, the corners on the edges. I don't know, but hopefully you know what I mean. And I want to set the limit method on the bevel modifier to weight, segments to two. And on all those edges I selected, I want to use 0.02. Okay. So that is, that is looking good. I also want to set it to shade smooth. And... Now I'm thinking what stands out the most is the middle here. I think it's time we deal with that. So I want to get this whole loop down here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's not going to work with the mirror modifier, come to think of it. So I'm going to actually apply the mirror modifier real quick. So now when I when I select this, 
I can actually bevel it out. I want to get all these things in here nice and pretty even. I want one in the middle too, because uh, I'm going to add that mirror modifier back. So I'm going to delete the bottom half again. And there we go. All right. And I'm kind of liking these gaps here right now. And the other thing with this cut here, not only can we vary kind of the height and the angle of these flanks, but we can pull these in so they don't touch, but still have it sealed down, down here. It's hard to see. I think I actually need to scale. Did I use edge select there? I need to scale these out a little bit. There we go. Okay. So it should basically be sealed now. And it should be looking pretty good. I think maybe maybe we'll put a subdivision surface on it now. Yep, still looks good. I'm liking it. Okay. I think I'm going to Okay, maybe it's not sealed all the way actually. Maybe I need to take this middle edge loop here and I need to scale it out. I think a bit more on the Y Then I'll take this, just this top one. And bring it back in. Because I definitely want it to be sealed. But I also want the front and back to have visible gaps between the planks. Okay. So that's looking pretty alright. Now I'm thinking we should maybe try to deform the mesh now. So maybe like a simple twist could be a decent base. Like just set it to twist with a three degree angle. Yeah, yeah, that might be okay to start with. I'm going to try moving it. Does it matter? Yeah, basically needs to go after the mirror and the array. I think if I put before the array, is it going to twist out? Yeah, twist every board individually. <laughs> Which, uh, I mean, maybe you want that. That's sort of cool, but no. Order of operations here is uh, really going to matter for us. So we're twisting them, and that's pretty cool. And I think I want to add some more random variation, because that's kind of giving us some nice breakup. But uh, yeah, I'm going to need a displace. But we're going to need to use some kind of noise texture. And, uh, yeah, I was playing around in this file a bit before. I already have some noise textures here. And these te this texture, this is just texture set to clouds. See, if I just make a new texture, texture of two, set the type to clouds for now. Then go back. Now this, uh, 
Yeah, I don't think this is what we want, but change it more is something 0 0.01, and I'm going to set it to the Y direction, and I'm going to move it to right about here, maybe 0.1, yeah, okay, there we go. Now we're getting some kind of random breakup along there. Maybe before the simple deform. Hmm. All right. And I think I'm going to copy this displace. And this one I'm going to set to displace along the X. and twist. And now we definitely have some breakup along our barrel here. Maybe a bit too much. Maybe we don't want 0.1, maybe we want 0 0.075. Maybe even 0.05. Hmm. Yeah, we might play around with that a bit more. That seems okay. Hmm. Maybe I'll try another one. Maybe like a Z-axis. What am I going to get with that? Okay, what if I set the strength to 1, then point 0.2, then point 0.1, like that. That's something. Wonder, should I shift this? Yeah, no, definitely want to keep all the displaces after those. That's okay, so we have our separate X, Y, and Z displace modifiers now, and a simple deform twist, kind of shifting up the barrel. It might be a bit too exaggerated right now. Maybe I want more. I think a lot of that's actually coming from the twist. 0.03. No. Eh. Yeah, maybe 0.03. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it like this for now and see how it goes. Alright, so I think that's going to be it for now. And next, we are, depending on how I feel, going to make the metal band or the top and bottom of our barrel.